All right, everyone. Bad pool builders in over his head with legal trouble. Let's check it out. Guys, if anyone's seen, like, stuff related to, the, like, you know, building, like, you know, business, like, uh, bad happenings. I keep seeing stuff like that on TikTok and YouTube shorts, but... This guy is supposed to build pools in people's backyards. And the stuff he posts on his website, blogs, podcasts, and social media pages makes it look like he's floating on an ocean of success. Hey, bro, okay. Hey, I'm, I'm sure most businesses nowadays do have a social media presence. You can consider my channel like a business as well. Hey there, Brad. Oh, whoa, the Hall of Shame. Oh my gosh. Rob Walchick for Fox. I wonder how much they paid for that animation, guys. Can I talk to you? Meet Brandon Heitman. Hey, hey, Brandon Heitman here. We can get you a new swimming pool. Brandon bills himself as a millionaire. Oh, Lamborghini, guys. What? Okay, th this is a little bit more interesting than I thought it would. Bro has a Lamborghini. That's 200k car. An internet personality. A pool builder who's taken the plunge and made a fortune. What is it? Dude. I should be pool building, man. Success story from mowing lawn. Twenty dollar lawns to one million projects. No, I, 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 I that sounds awesome, guys. Lawns for twenty dollars to one million dollar projects. Oh, let's go. Let's roll. Love checks. Well, now, now he's making a ton of TikToks, uh, TikTok ad revenue, showing how, uh, you know, he basically uh, achieved the American dream, guys. A lot of money coming in and a lot of money going out. This 30-year-old entrepreneur is so successful, he's a mentor to other contractors around the nation. Yep, you can be like Brandon by joining the Heitman Academy, flying in private jets, <laughs> visiting exotic places. Guys, you need like multiple businesses to be flying on private jets, man. Spilling pool. Let's Ooh. dive in and check out some of this guy's masterpieces. Like this still unfinished gunite beauty, which was supposed to be completed more than a year ago. Bro. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it looks good if it was completed. What, what's going on? This guy. This guy's, uh, you know. It was, it's such a unique design, it won't even pass code. 75% 10 foot deep end and hardly any shallow end. He doesn't know what he's doing. How about this fantabulous fiberglass pool that gets deeper every day? Because the owners say it's sagging in the middle and sinking. Our pool is essentially garbage. It needs to be torn out and started from scratch or how about this pool oh that's right there is no pool here even though this couple paid brandon sixty thousand dollars what this guy's a scammer man everything that he told us can't trust everybody you find on tiktok for sure guys this was a lie brandon is a special businessman he even cried like tears like he's when he wanted me to give him more money cry baby contractor he started crying i live in huckster he's uh, super arrogant get ready for 2023 now is the time to grind it's sink or swim with brandon heidman you need to be willing to get outside the comfort zone going outside his comfort zone and maybe going straight into a jail <laughs> sorry guys it, this is funny though like <laughs> We gotta know more. We gotta know more. This is Becca and Alex's pool. They paid Brandon Heitman's company, Exigen of Shelby Township, more than $100,000 to install it. But they say the fiberglass pool was put in crooked, under stress, and won't pass inspection. Guys, honestly, it looks pretty good. Uh, but yeah, they say it right there. It won't pass inspection. The way someone explained it to me is they said, take a Rubbermaid tote that, you know, you use downstairs for storage and turn it and twist it lock it in concrete and fill it with water there is going to be an extreme amount of tension on every part of that i mean doesn't it look good guys i i, I personally don't like when uh the fences look like this good though guys no one can easily just like look in your yard rubber made where i live we just got wooden fences 
Oh. They say Brandon Heitman was too busy making videos promoting himself to help them. Soon they found out the guy who is teaching others... All these IG videos, man. Looks like he'd rather be a... a some sort of like social media per star instead, guys. ...how to be a successful contractor wasn't even a licensed contractor himself. In fact, he didn't get his license until March of 2023. I went and what? The permits that's when we discovered that they were unlicensed the permits were pulled by somebody named henry bell a licensed contractor the couple say they've never met who's never stepped foot on their property and doesn't even work for exigent alex dang bro as a con man put together this website to document how terrible their experience has been but instead of brandon coming out to help them fix their pool he sued them for defamation to date i paid him one hundred and twenty two thousand dollars the end says wait you paid him what the heck i paid him one hundred and twenty two thousand. dang bro is this guy a finesse or what the end says she's humiliated by how badly she was heisted by heitman i asked him specifically they should call him the heisman at this point if you had a license, he said yes. There's plenty of holes in that story. Here's the main oh, man. The the, 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 the uh, man, I, I just want to pull with the jacuzzi, guys. It did look good though. One in her backyard, pipes are cemented in that are too small. What the, the heck? The is off. Holy, sh and it's been like this for two whole summers. She told hey, bro, me, pools are a lot of work. Brandon, she's had enough, but Brandon told her he didn't have enough enough money to bring it up to code I'm, I'm not the bank we've paid you for this and he started crying saying he's really in a tough spot brandon used the crybaby contractor act on joe and angela as well the crybaby contractor act oh my god he started crying they paid bro what this guy is eccentric to say the least who and Brandon sixty thousand dollars for a pool that was supposed to be done this April, but the only thing they have to show is this ridiculous-looking diagram of a pool built into the side of a hill next to their house. Oh, man, it looks the, the diagram does look cool though, right, guys? And get this, Brandon and the couple were actually friends. Here they are at one of Brandon's wedding parties. What the Joe heck? Joe asked his friend, "What have you bought with my with my money?" And what does he say? I don't have it. But Brandon did have lots of fancy stuff. A new house in Macomb, a Lamborghini. Remember, this is a guy who posts videos about how successful he is. Oh snap, he's got a YouTube channel as well. Right along in my Lamborghini as well. Man, he runs the Heitman Academy. Wonder if Brandon teaches how to dodge judgments. He is good at that. Attorney Danny Batty's client. So another, another YouTube scammer, guys. And has a consent judgment against Brandon. The court is ordering uh, Mr. Heitman and his company to pay the X amount of dollars that was at issue. And has he paid? Like it's just like a trying to get the money and run kind of situation, guys. Or he's doing like a half job. I wonder if he's done actual like legit jobs, guys. Did anything? No, no, he's not. How much did Joe Rigaldo get stiffed? He gave him the full eighty-one thousand dollars. So he gave him $81,000 up front to build the pool? That's correct. A similar thing. Isn't it like payments or something? It was made with a guy named Mark Shamaya. Brandon agreed to pay him back $67,000 for a pool that was never even started. Seems like, like Pool Boy is drowning in debt. His solution? Make <laughs> they're, they're, they're finding him in public. And why is he always lifting up his shirt, guys? More videos trying to get new customers. Hey, Brandon here. Let me tell you why you need to invest in your new outdoor living space today. And it must have worked because just two weeks ago, a couple in Gross Point say they gave him $75,000 for a new pool. This Dang, is what... bro. I would actually maybe fall for it if, he didn't, if they didn't release something like this, guys. They have so far. Little... Not like I have money to get this done, though. Little did they know, Exigen was filing for bankruptcy. It happened just last week, a week after Brandon Heitman was arrested and charged with two felonies, taking more than fifty thousand dollars under false pretenses and fraudulent use. Oh, of they the got him, guys. Builders contract fund. He bonded out of jail on thirty thousand dollars cash. Yeah, bro, he's rich. What he but, uh, he's richer with, with the wrong through the wrong ways, though, right, guys? up the contracts on all these pools the millionaire contractor didn't even have a contractor's license their permits were all pulled by someone named henry bell what's he got to say about Dang, it bro i went to his house and left cards rob walchek from fox 2 
looking for. Bro, if, the, if this happens, you know they're the... <laughs> I used to watch Fox Live and they did stuff like this all the time, man. For Henry Bell. But Henry's never contacted me back. So where is Brandon Heitman? According to their website, this is the headquarters of Exigent Design and Build. But we found out they haven't been here for years. But I did find him at this workyard on 23 Mile in Shelby, pacing around, talking business on the phone, or maybe he's mentoring a student from the Heitman Academy. Time for me to dunk pool. Guys, why do you always do that, bro? Every, almost every shot, he's like, has his shirt up and he's touching it. He's like, what is going on, bro? Can I talk to you? What's that? No, I want to talk to you right now. <laughs> He's treating him like the police. He says he said he wants a, his attorney to talk to him for him. Brandon, hang on, hang on, man. Hey, come on. Here, talk to me. What's going on with your business? You talk to my attorney. Thank you. Oh, I want to talk to he you. He ain't got no words. Great offer. Well, what's going on with your business now? You're a talkative guy. I've seen your videos. Thank you. Don't run away from pressure. How's the Heitman Academy going? <laughs> Why don't Look at him getting his Lamborghini, guys. Money to the the sixty thousand dollars to Angela and Joe. Come on, Brandon, talk to me. Come on, dude, roll your window down. Here, you want to take my business card? You can have your Thank attorney you. contact you. Who's your All attorney? Right. Thank you. I I'll have them call you. Thank you. Hey, he's being. He's being nice, eh? Okay. Hey, Brandon, come on in. The water's perfect here in... This, this guy's eccentric as well. I like this reporter, man. The Hall of Shag. <laughs> Hall of uh, Shag. That's a subtitle. Now, Rebecca and Alex tell me the lawsuit Heitman filed against them has been dropped, but Brandon's legal problems keep building besides his company filing for bankruptcy, civil suits, and the two felonies he's been charged with. I would never do that, man. That's too much. <laughs> so every time he gets stressed out, he pulls his shirt up and... <laughs> I know, right? Mm. As someone who's worked with pools for six years, the fact that people played more than 10% of the total cost before any construction is wild. And wild is su such a common term nowadays, right, guys? Someone who's worked for this journalism that should be recognized and, and applauded. It's that work. I know, right? Another person says you should pay 10 for 15% before it's completed. This is what we want to see on the news. Please, I know, right? Yeah, Fox 2 Detroit. Good video, good video. That's why it has nearly a million views, right, guys? But yeah, guys, that's our video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out, everyone. Check out um Fox 2 Detroit in the description. I do all my reactions live on Twitch. And yeah. Come through, say hi, like, comment, subscribe.